So let us begin our time of prayer and meditation and reflection this week by simply allowing us to find our own breath. Our breath may be one of our most important tools in these weeks to come. So allow us just to breathe in deeply and to breathe out deeply, to know ourselves to be here in this moment, a moment where we are connected with what is known and comforting in our lives, the presence of what is holy and sacred, no matter whether we call it spirit of life, spirit of love, spirit of community, God of mercy, God of care, God of resilience. Whatever we call this in our own words, let us summon it in these times. In these stormy times, let us know that there is a calm harbor in our hearts, an anchor in community, and a deep solace in perspective. In these frightening times, when many around us are clinging only to concern for their own safety, let this be a space for us to embrace those wider sympathies, those greater loves, remembering those who can too easily be forgotten in our fears and anxieties. Those who work directly with those at highest risk, those medical and other helping professionals, and the technical people, too, who support them, may they all be kept safe. Those who before this lacked food security and stable shelter, may we continue to do our small parts to provide them the resources we can. Those who are now shunned because of their race or ethnicity, may we give them an extra friendly smile or support their concerns without debate. Those who already know the grip of anxiety, who live with the after effects of trauma, who fear physical isolation as much as the disease, or who are already alone in the pangs of grief. Those who jobs require them to be in touch with things that may be infected, those who clean up after us, those who dispose of things that we use, those who have the illness and their caregivers who are feeling shamed or worried, may they know that our highest hope is for their full recovery and for those whose economic security is threatened especially those whose jobs are dependent on daily commerce and the small businesses who struggle to stay afloat or those living on fixed incomes, fearing the economic fluctuations. For all of us feeling especially afraid or alone today, may we feel the comfort of community in these times when what we are used to may seem obscured, may we find comfort in learning and loving and reminding ourselves of the ways we care for one another. Let us be grateful for that which reminds us to stay safe and the joy and sense of absurdity that reminds us not to take that worry too far. Let us look for the small signs of beauty, which will be here as long as there is life on this earth and which are present with us as present as our fear or anxiety. Let us take together, my friends, two more breaths, one in and one out to remind us of how we are held together in the relentless possibilities of life and connection. May we, in these times, be the ones to remember the larger frame of life. 